going to be a very interesting week. I want to go back through a bit of history, going back about two and a half years. Uh, some people may remember when we worked for about two years on developing a strategic plan for the next 10 years for, for CCF. A comprehensive framework on understanding poverty and its impact on children. That's what the point What we will be doing is having a set of global indicators, much like AIMS, but blending a set of local indicators that, are, that may be completely different from country to country. And but with just as introduction, you, I think you all know that well, it is South America. Child development, for example, in the physical area, health, patients, orientation, and housing. We have the Community Building Facilitator Training, or CBF. So these are the things that came along the way as the major issues that we began to address. But, but as part of the plan, what came through as cross-cutting issues were a number of them. One of them is strengthening the institutions that work. The capacity of that family group is built by a change agent, a trained change agent. This so there's a lot for us to really think through in the process. We know that we've been working with the organizational capacity assessment, the poverty study, the uh, program practices handbook information that's already been shared. And our internal communications strategy is going to be absolutely crucial and our first priority. And so we figured, well, since this is coming anyway, why don't we go ahead and add something that will help you facilitate the process? The things that, that jumped out, especially from ActionAid, and I guess from what you heard in, in Uganda, and it came to me, the senior saying, what made them successful and made some others not successful um, during that transition process? These are pilots. These are three discrete pilot activities that we are doing. Right now, the organization is the one with the strategic plan. The organization, at that point, locked into a change process. In each of the pilot countries, we will have two area programs established. We are trying to make as little permanent you. <laughs> Possibly one of the technical persons at the area should be a, a technician related to child and youth development just to ensure that that happens. If you really want to get someone to have the basic skills of resource management, you've got the area strategic plan coming in, you've got your in country entities, government, civil societies, etc. And then we have the international piece, which includes CCF, but it may also include other in international entities. Okay. And that we're giving two months. You go on now for as soon as you get back. Exactly. So this will be done also by July 15th. Because we made But this, then we get into this training. Then the national office staff need to receive training on PRA in order to provide training to area and communities. Oh, it got on tap. <laughs> Planning. 
we are going to take you through a process that we think should be viable for the planning now using the area approach. <coughs> because we are a child-focused agency, we think the child fora should be involved at each level of the planning. Possible partners, all the actors in the area where we are operating, plus of course the input from the community. But what we would like to focus on for right now are, are once again the red milestones. And these are some, some targeted um, dates and accomplishments to start going, going on this journey. It um, starts with the, the approval of the plan and the last draft. Get in the country for a short step and get these major publications like the ECD, the Michael Enterprises, Okay, now we need Richmond support. That's the coming of uh, support from Richmond. Not all done yet, but they're all across. We're going to use that for the On the right. Come on, come on. Hi, hi. 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 Hi, CCF should be put in place so that we as CCF are only feeding into a wider picture. So sitting down at the table developing the plan, for example, if there were six areas in a country, you'd have representatives from those six areas sitting down with national office staff and some CCF staff from those areas. You'd also have some key people possibly from the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Health. On June 4, we, we want to have the area to live because uh, overall, the presentation uh, is divided into the uh, is divided according to uh, phases, and each phase according to outputs. <laughs> <laughs> Organizational development section.